Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Trevor James here, and I'm bringing you guys another Yu-Gi-Oh! haul today. I know it's been a uh, little while since I did a, a last Yu-Gi-Oh! haul, but um, I'm kind of really just focusing on these videos to basically be like <laughs> just what I'm building new decks with. So pretty much like all the stuff that I'm ordering are either going into decks that I'm preparing deck profiles for or just stuff that I needed. So that's pretty much what all of these uh, like envelopes are. They're just a bunch of cards from, you know, different decks I'm trying to build or different stuff I'm trying to complete. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to this. I guess we'll start with the smaller packages then work our way to the slightly bigger ones. I don't have any big packages this time. It's pretty much just like a lot of envelopes. So we'll start here and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. So, and I, and I found just like last time it works really well if I just like take scissors and just cut the top off. Um, I don't think I've ever actually cut a card that way. Alright, so let's go ahead and see. Alright, so... <laughs> Some of these things, um, because the fact that it's directly through, um, or pretty much all of these are th through TCG Player. So TCG Player basically requires you to pay at least $2 of stuff in order to get it shipped. They don't charge you for shipping or anything like that, but usually they do usually require you to, um, pay at least $2 for, for someone's, uh, for a seller's product to be able to actually order them. Uh, so a lot of this stuff, or not a lot of it, but some of this stuff is going to be stuff I didn't even need. It's just stuff that I thought was kind of cool. Um, I'm always looking for ultimate rares, so if I can find them hella cheap, it's cool to get ultimate rares. So as you guys can see, there's an ultimate rare at the top. <clears throat> All right. So let's see what we got here. So we got uh, number C... Number C96, Dark Storm. Ultimate Rare looks super, super nice. Like I said, some of these are just random cards. Um, okay, there's the Bower Boon. So I have I have three of these supers coming in. So I have the one Bower Boon. Uh, we got Metal Foes, Adamanty, uh, Gilgarth, once again, another just random one that I just ordered just because. Uh, Fusion Conscription, I needed for one of my decks. Metal Foes Combination, uh, Full Metal Foes Fusion, Dynamis Rex, once again, another random one. But I do kind of... I mean, Dino Miss is interesting. And then, uh, I already have one, but I needed a second one of, uh, number 20 Giga Brilliant for my, um, uh, insect deck. <laughs> if that even makes sense. It's, uh, the digital bug deck. So, uh, those are the ones I got from here. Um, as you can see, most of this is Metal Foes stuff because I'm in the middle of trying to build a certain deck that plays Metal Foes. So, alright. Uh, next envelope here. Let's go ahead and check and see what we got inside of here. So, oh, what the heck? <laughs> Everybody's always wrapping these so weird. Alright, so I gotta cut more. Okay. Probably gonna have to do a lot of editing in this video. <laughs> Alright, so, okay, so these are um, the recurring nightmares. Um, I needed these for a certain deck as well. Um, and these are literally common, but they're super expensive, even for the commons, because they're old. They were really only printed like in a couple sets, so uh, there's either a secret or a common. The secret is obnoxiously expensive, so um, I just decided to get the commons, even though I would really like to rock the secrets, but they're they're obnoxious. So the standard common recurring nightmares. Uh, this is weird. This literally came in a plastic thing with the envelope, and it's already like slightly open. Um, so I, I opened up that plastic thing because I just didn't know what the hell it was. Um, but I have not actually seen what this card is. Uh, what the heck? It's super stuck on there. Oh, okay, well I saw that. Okay, so this is... We got DD Crow here. So, um, this super rare DD Crow. Uh, this is gonna be for, um, a spiral deck. Uh, because it's a super good card if you play it with the, uh, XC monster that comes out in the newest set. Um, and then, uh, Instant Fusion. Once again, I need this for Spiral, so. Diddy Crow and Instant Fusion. Nice, nice cards. Alright, these are pretty much all the bigger ones now. So, we'll go ahead and just start with all of these. I think a lot of these are loaded with a lot of cards. So, I ordered a good amount of cards from TCG Player. Uh, all separate ones, obviously. All separate sellers. Okay. Half of these are literally stuck in their envelope. Alright, let's, uh, keep showing my address. Okay, so, see, once again, so this is another really random one. Um, I know I just pulled these out of the tin, too, but, um, Rebarian Shark, uh, but it's because of the fact that it's these other cards that are in here that I ordered, um, I had to order stuff like that. Once again, it comes down to the fact that with TCG Player, you have to order a certain amount of cards, or a certain amount, you have to order at least $2 of cards, so some of these are just random stuff that I thought I may need, or just random stuff for the number collection, all that kind of stuff like that, so we got Rebarian Shark uh, what the heck 
Man, why you guys gotta wrap these things so crazy, TCG player? Or technically it's not even, it's just a bunch of random sellers. Alright, so, we got number 71, Rebarian Shark. We got number 68, Snapanoid. Once again, the two random numbers. And then I needed it specifically for Spiral Mission. And then I have an X-Saber Invoker, but this is a really nice Invoker. Like, I wanted the secret, so I ordered the secret. So, yeah, uh, mostly for Spiral uh, Mission Assault, uh, which is an ex actually getting up there. It's kind of expensive now. I mean, not really. It's like, it's for a rare, it's like $2 for a rare, which is still kind of ridiculous. Or not $2, a little, little less than that. Okay, but because spirals are so uh, hyped right now that every card in spirals is starting to get a little bit up there, out there, in price. Okay, so they uh, pack these all in a couple different ones. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Okay, so this is the other, I think this is the, the two Baba Boons as well. So we got, yep, so we got two Baba Boons. Uh, Preparation of Rights and Decode Talker. I needed a second one, so I did order another Decode Talker. Uh, next thing... There's a lot of cards in this one, holy crap. Alright, so we got, okay, so Metal Flow's Gold Driver, I needed a second, or needed a third one. We got uh, two Ori Calc, um, Rare Metal Flow's Bismuth Gear. I thought it would be cool to have a super rare playset of them, so, because they, I have the common ones, but because they were uh, reprinted as supers in the whole Pendulum uh, box. Super cool. Uh, we got two more uh, envelopes left. I think that was pretty much like the big one that had like a lot of cards in it. Okay. They always let these stick. Okay, so this is okay. Purple Poison Magician. Um, I ordered one just because I thought I may actually want to have a third one. I only have two, um, and I only play two in my Pendulum deck. But I don't know. It's a really good card, and I've always maybe thought to play it at three. I know a lot of people play it at three, um, but I only played it two in mine. And then I needed the Predaplant Orphan Scorpio, so that's what I actually ordered. And then this I got too because I, you know, thought I might need it. And then the last one, this is honestly kind of heavy, so I guess this is where the other big, big one is. Or, well, maybe not. Maybe it's just a lot of packaging in here, but it's definitely a little heavy. All right. So last thing, uh, that just flipped out. Okay, yeah, so this is a bunch of other ones. So these are all the supers that are the all the uh, fusions that I needed for the uh, Metal Flows deck. So I got um, Metal Flows Mithrilium, uh, three of them, um, and then Metal Flows Alkahist, and then Transmodify because I needed a third one. Alright guys, let's do a little recap of all the things I got. So just like last time in my last uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! haul video, I kind of organized everything once again so that the stuff that I'm building for. So um, this is obviously the Metal Flow stuff. So I got the Bubble Boons, the Super Bubble Boons. I got the Super Rare Metal Flow uh, Bisma Gear. I got the one Metal Flow Go Driver. I got the Adamanti, the Double Ori Calc, and then the Triple Mithrilium, the one Alkahist, and then Full Metal Flow's Fusion and Full Metal Flow's, co or Metal Flow's Combination for all the Metal Flow stuff. For the Spiral stuff, the stuff that I was missing still, I got the Spiral Missing Assault, the Instant Fusion, uh, the Secret MX Saber Invoker, Deco Talker, and DD Crow. Um, this is literally just some uh, odds and ends stuff that I needed for certain other decks. Um, preparation of Rides, Transmodify, Recurring Nightmare, Fusion Conscription, we got Orphus Scorpio, and then Purple Poison Magician. And then this is all just the random stuff that, you know, I just ordered just because. So Giga Brilliant, uh, Rebarian Shark, Schnappanoid, The Sky Prison, we got the uh, Ultimate Rare, uh, C96 Dark uh, Storm, um, Gilgarth, and Dino Mist Rex. So yeah, guys, if you guys like this type of video, let me know. I know uh, this would probably be my second one that I'll be uploading uh, for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Hall stuff, but you guys want me to continue this type of thing. It, it makes sense to do it, and um, I hope you guys like that. So I will talk to you guys later, and have a wonderful day. Bye!